welcome back. Well, the measles outbreak around the country is getting closer to home. The Jefferson County Health Department says cases of the measles have been confirmed in the states that surround Alabama. Bakari Savage has more details on how local health officials are keeping an eye on the outbreak. There are confirmed cases of the measles in Tennessee, Georgia, and Florida. So could Alabama be next? We came here to Baptist Medical Center. We talked to Dr. Brian Tierney about what to look for. Here he is with the symptoms. The typical symptoms, you'll have a few days of a fever, a cough, uh, burning nose, burning face, red eyes, then you'll develop a rash, um, typically for two to four days, and then uh, classic spots in your mouth, and you should heal fine. The people that are at the most risk are the extremes of age or the immunosuppressed, so they're very young or they're very old, or people that have chronic illnesses that are already uh, have weakened immune systems. The Centers for Disease Control says it thought the measles had been wiped out in 2000. Now, there are more than 600 cases of the measles around the country, the highest number in almost 20 years, and with the threat of coming to Alabama. Dr. Brian Tierney with Brookwood Baptist Medical Center says this is a highly contagious virus for which there is no cure. You just treat it. The CDC estimates the vaccine is 97% effective. Here's Dr. Tierney. For a child, <clears throat> you'll receive a, a vaccination around a year of age, and then a second um, around four years of age. As an adult, typically you'll get uh, the first vaccination. It will start to work roughly around a week, and then typically uh, you'll get a second vaccination at 28 days. And when it comes to whether or not you or your family need to get vaccinated, Dr. Tierney says, talk to your doctor. I'm Bakari Savage, WBRC Fox 6.